everyone, it is your boy RGB here again with another Leviathan video. Um, so I was requested by somebody to make another video um, showing how to build a levy structurally. So frames, armor pieces, you know, basic, basic structure. All right. So that's what I'm going to do today. What I've done is. This is a Leviathan that I'm using at the moment. Um, disclaimer, I didn't build this. All right, just so you know, I stole this from a good friend. Um, with all the patch changes that are going on at the minute, I am sick to death of building things for them to just change it, um, you know, so so frequently. And, and these things, to build these things properly takes hours. Um, so I'm not doing that at the minute until until we've settled down with the with the patches and such things. So this is a friend of mine's. Um, he's he's given me it, you know, to use, and it's very effective. So I'm just chilling out and and rolling with this at the minute. It's not perfect, but it's pretty damn good. I'll tell you now. All right. Um, so I've stripped it down from the beginning. What we'll do is we'll we'll build it with you know we'll build it backwards with Control and Z. Um, where we're at right now is just the frames and the boosters and a bit of equipment. You know, this is like what, what I'd call like the base chassis of it. All right. Um, so if you're going to get going, first of all, start with a cockpit at the back. All right. Now, the way this is this has got the frames, get rid of that verifier, is it's got it. You can see the connecting points there. It's got a frame on each front corner and two across the back now I personally prefer when I'm building one I prefer to have it exactly the opposite of that as in I'll have it like that to start with so I'd probably do another two doubles as well so get rid of them I've, he's run out he's used them later on and that's why he's uh, whoever's built this has used these two uh, well these six by fours I normally start with four eight by fours each corner is normally how I start when I'm building one. All right, because what that does is that gives you, you know, a nice reach forward as far as you can, and a nice reach back for for wheels, and you can connect armor to protect wheels around here. All right. Um, once you've done that, you can then work on your averter. So he's got the averter here. It's connected to the cab. That's a must. He's got it connected to an Aegis. That's pretty important. Um, I mean, what you could do is you could connect it to a Doppler, which I've done previously. Things that I've done, a pretty standard one for me is I'll have it like that. So it's connected to the cab. You can put stuff under the cab here, connected to it. You see these two connection points. You can put stuff under the cab if you want, like an Aegis. And then you can even put a gun at the front here if you want. You know, if you want to put a retcher there or something like that. The only problem is it'll be quite low. Um, if you've got it like this, that is the one the one issue with that. But that's how I like to start. Most of the guns here are, are raised up a level above what I would do. I would normally have them at sort of ground level. Um, they've raised them up a notch. To be fair, that what that might be what makes it work. You know, you'd have to you'd have to test to find out. But um, yeah, so there's your basic frame construction. Other than that, you want to do exactly what they've done here. So you, you put a nice gap here from that corner. You've got that naturally from the corners of the cockpit. And then you spread again, half and half. All right. You don't even need to half. You could. You see they've got armor here. Um, you can even bring these in, you know, one one row. If you, want your, if you don't want your levy to be quite as wide as this. That's normally what I do. Again, I'll run. They've got armor here. You know, I, would, I would normally run it down this sort of line here. What they've done is they've widened it a little bit and they've got some an extra ammo pack in the middle an extra line of armor is what that's given them all right and you can run all the way down to the front you can widen it here a little bit if you want um it's it's not necessary this this connecting point here isn't isn't necessary um they've got the cloak in the middle you, you can put you know <sighs> Back to the booster talk again. There's four boosters. You do only need three. I'm sure they've only got three. <laughs> Unless I deleted one. Let's have a look. I've lost my head already. Yeah, they've only got three. You can put another one here if you like. All right, quite easily. Um, it's nice and symmetrical that way if you like it. 
All right, and then, you know, a nice frame arrangement here at the front. Took a couple of Sabbath wheels on. So I was using, previously using claws. Since the Sabbaths have come in, um, they are a lot better. All right, so that's your basic frames. Put your guns in, put your radi radiators in wherever you need. Reload, you know, flywheel module there, brilliant. Verifier on top of the cab, that's exactly where you want it. Make sure you put the verifier around the cabin area because it's such a distraction for, for levy guns. I, I, I covered that in the in the previous video, but I'll mention it again. Um, the verifier has to be around here because what it does when it pops, it goes up, it goes back, and it'll be a main target for a Leviathan chasing you or something like that. And it won't be shooting you, it'll be shooting the, the verifier until it kills it. All right, uh, we've got a Doppler at the front here. Um, I don't like it there. I would have that. I would have that in the frames here, personally, because if you lose that, we pretty regularly run with just the, the the Leviathan as a Doppler. If you lose that pretty quickly, um, that's not good. <laughs> you need that. That's important. So put it somewhere more important. You know, somewhere that levels its importance. All right, in the frames in the middle somewhere, underneath the cab, if you want. I think I think pretty standard for me is to pop it here. Actually, um, I think it's that important. You know, you could juck another Aegis here, no worries. Alright. Um, so we'll start putting it together. As we get a little bit further forward, I'll talk about... We'll start looking at, you know, the roof, the armour. Um, the main armour pieces you want for your Leviathan, and this is important, and this requires a little bit of grinding on, on your part, is you need um, Steppenwolves and Scavengers parts, which you're going to need to level up those factions for. All right. Other than that, um, it's the founders' parts, all of the crane parts. Which, if you weren't here for the founders' um, battle passes, you're gonna be, you know, a bit behind everybody getting those. You can get them from the exchange. All right. They'll come up in here, and you're gonna have to get them that way. You're gonna have to trade them for your badges, which again is a bit grindy. Um, Sorry, that's that's just the way it is. If you weren't here for the battle passes for the founders, then yeah, you're you're at a disadvantage here. But you see, there's all. I mean, this was this was founders 2.0. Um, oh, that's that's Dawn's children's bit. But basically, you want the most highest mass, highest durability parts that you can get to start with. And what the, what this what's happening here is they're just spacing it out, building up that durability. You know, a good levy should be at least <clears throat> at least ten K durability in in my opinion is what I see with whenever I build something. Alright. So we're starting to build up. Yeah, I mean work on your ground level. The main the main thing you want after the ground level is you want three connecting pieces to your roof, three connecting areas. It needs to be connected at the rear. It needs to be connected in the middle, which you can see we started to build up here. It needs to be connected in the front also, all right, for your main for your main roof. Right, that is very, very important because if your roof falls off, you've lost a lot of durability and a lot of your weapons. I mean, I lose the I lose these top weapons a lot, anyways, with all the punishers that are around. They just destroy the uh, the weapons. But you've still got a lot of durability in this roof, all right. So it needs to be connected well in three places. Is my opinion that's that's the best way to do it without blocking all of the guns. All right. So we'll look at this bit. This is a good way to start. I think you can do the screeners up, and then a gun mount. Yeah. That is probably the best way to do it in my opinion um so nice shoot through piece in the middle and you can sort of once you build up from here you know use a gun mount and then start building forwards and backwards from there okay until you've reached a certain point where you can connect it down and you can connect it down at the front the guns they've got at the bottom wretches and destructors whoever's built this agrees with me that these are your base weapons you these are the first things you mount to your levy. These are the damage dealers. These are the best weapons you can have on your Leviathan right now. And you must have these. Must. Must, must, must. Very important. I'm drinking coffee whilst I'm making a video. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, very, very important. Alright. And then up top, you know, is your is your extra stuff. Toadfish. Also a must for me. If you've got... This is all... If you've got the money, guys. Alright. Don't, 
don't worry in the previous video if you don't have the money for these weapons i've made a video with lots of alternatives um leviathan's 101 i think it's called just just have a look at it right. there are plenty of other alternatives but this is the best for me at the moment all right um there's lots of arguments for having punishers in you on your levy at the minute as well right so here we go we're starting to see these founders parts that i'm talking about these crane sides you need these because these are so high durability for the um you know for the for the size they're a perfect size they're good for connecting parts um these are got to be in you you need to use all of these along with these apc roof panels these all need to be used in your levy all right I'll show I'll show this one and then I'll show a different way of building a roof. All right, all I've done is I've stripped this down and I'm control Z in it, putting it all back together piece by piece. Until we get to we've done the middle connecting. I mean I mean that's You've got a gun mount here for a scorpion. I'm pretty sure they do it again on the front. We'll talk about that in a minute. Right, yeah, so right, so they've done after that, after the three toad fish I mean, if you haven't got scorpions, you can't do this. This just works for me with the equipment that I've got. This one works, all right? You've got a gun mount sat on top of ABC roof parts. I mean, it's... I see why they've done it. They've done it to get the scorpions higher, all right? And it does make sense, and it does work. So one thing about having the scorpions higher is when there's a, you know, a levy cab down here, you know, like you've got the front, the front mounted cab builds. This is your standard rear you know rear cockpit um sausage i call it a sausage this is a sausage build yeah um you get the ones with the cockpit mounted at the front all right if that is down here so the cockpit side you know the levy side by side with you and the cab's down here unless your scorpions are high like this they won't even shoot it this is the problem with the with the roof is you need to make sure it's not too wide all right because if you have something down here you need to remember that the guns are all shooting at the enemy leviathan's cabin if it is here in this position a lot of these guns cannot see it and they will not fire simple as that all right so you're losing all of these weapons on the top so if you are running this sort of build you need to stay away from you know these crash into you skinner levies that you see and you'll see if you watch my twitch you'll see me screaming and shouting about them because i hate them <laughs> but the reason i hate them is because i can't beat them because they're annoying i know the weakness of the build and there's nothing i can do about it all right so they're then armoring this up right we're starting to look at the connections here now let's here we go right so let's get it all in let's get it all in yeah there's a brace there yeah so i mean these pieces are pretty good these phantom phantom fenders um and i, I use these at the front for sure with with 90% of the levies I've built this will be at the front because it's got that nice curve for gun rotation in there and it's got some decent you know connecting points I'll just have a look at this now you know you've got what nine up there you've only got three here but it's nice and flat so it's not a problem you want you want the big end you know at the top to give you plenty of pieces to connect to let's put that back Okay, so they're a nice little starter. Um, I mean, these are connected. They're they're mounted to other pieces. You've got these you've got these APC roof parts touching also in case you lose this sort of area. So if you lose these, you know, you're still connected. You get the idea. You just need to build at this main you know front part plenty of parts that are going to connect if you lose some. But I mean, if a levy's shooting from your front, it's going to go through these pretty quick. But the point is, even if you lose your whole front end, you're still connected at the and in the middle here, and you're still connected at the front, at the rear. Sorry. Okay, so we'll start to build up this rear connection now. Yeah, they're pretty good pieces. These long slopes. They're kind of like the rounded fenders. Um, you've got a bit of a gap. So that's an interesting concept that they've used here: the oppressor engine. I quite like that actually because it's a good it's a good connecting piece i'll normally have that um sort of under cab middle um this is an interesting concept here i quite like it seems to work 
Like I said, I've been using this for what over a week now. Um, it seems to work. I've not come to an instance where I've lost my engine and I can't move. Put it that, <laughs> put it that way. I don't think it happens with levies. But... And another Aegis here. So this one's got a double Aegis. So it's got an Aegis underneath and it's got one here, <coughs> which is quite nice because that is connecting, you know, your main, that's protecting your main connecting pieces at the back. All right. And you just want to put on as much heavy armor as you've got. You know, when you're building, just arrange it by durability. You know, if you're, if you're building, just pop it on to by durability. Get your white, get your structure and just build from there. All right. I mean, they could have chucked a Vandor on here. They could have chucked a hard module. Bartizans are pretty good. Um, I wouldn't go any lower. The airplane interiors, I wouldn't go any lower than these sort of pieces here. Once you're into these, unless it really suits, you know, like it's a perfect little piece for connecting your build. I, I wouldn't bother with them. These are all the parts you need right here. All right. Um, so now that we've done, now that we've looked at this one, we strip this apart. I'll show you another way of doing it. Um, the way I would start from the roof, so I talked about, you know, a little bit ago, is starting with a gun mount. I'll just give you an example of how I would do it. Leave that there. Right, so, middle connecting piece. Yeah, there's your front base, there's your rear base. That looks pretty good, actually. If you start with that, you're not far off, you know, having a decent decent roof built here. All right. So, come out there. If you want it lower, so you've got it organized by durability, how I would. These are absolutely brilliant, all right? So, you can start. You have to. I'm not. I'm going to do this quickly, guys. All right. So if it's not fully symmetrical and such things, don't don't worry about it. I'm doing it quickly for the sake of a video. Like I say, building a levy takes hours, <laughs> hours and hours and hours, tinkering and messing with all the bits. So that's why I'm not doing that on the video today. So you see what we got? We've got three gun mounts. All right. So you can you can do this quite easily. We've run out of those crane pieces now. Are they being used elsewhere? I thought you had six of those at least. Um, we use those in here. They might be used in here. Anyways, so this is how I do it. I'll I'll have the crane sides. Oh, there we go. You've got crane side right. That's why I was just copying and pasting left. You should have loads of these. If you've got these, you know, you've got loads of them. Use them. They want to be in here, is my opinion. And then maybe another gun mount there. Okay. So that's, I mean, that's how you, you basically put your roof together, you know quite simply and then you start connecting here with again with your heaviest pieces you see how, how quickly that you know how quick that was it didn't it didn't take me long but let's say I've done a few of these now so I know what to do with it and then you can build out here you know a bit of width high durability pieces for example you know you, you know your container walls what would I do I'm just doing this really quickly so forgive me literally picking up whatever I grab maybe a little dot lower you know something like that and the roof's starting to look you know pretty decent already but high durability um, needs to be around you know 10k 10k plus really for a durability for a levy I've seen good if you've got a lot of fused parts you should be hitting 11 um, and that'll give you a good chance of fighting enemy leviathans so what I've done is I've dropped this down a level from this one just again when, when we talked about you know positions of enemy levies um, <clears throat> you need to be able to see them you need your guns to be able to shoot all right so that's this is the way I prefer to do it I know you saw the raised scorpions there um, and, it, and it could be better I'm not saying my way is better at all because at the end of the day I'm using that Leviathan and it's and it's working for me so just again, you know, make sure your toadfish are on are touching these three gun mounts if you can. Maybe, you know, if I was gonna if I was gonna build this from scratch, I'd maybe move this back a little bit because it is a little bit, you know, front front <coughs> front orientated. So I would maybe move this back to here and have the gun mount here, move that wretch to the other side if there is room. Um, 
saying that with the guns that are down here, it's not going to be even, is it? Because you've got five weapons, so you're going to have three at the back, two at the front, or either three at the front, two at the back, and it's not going to be, you know, it's not going to be even. You could put, you could put six down there and have this in the middle, and that'll give you a bit of room for your three toadfish on each of these. If you want them higher, not a problem. All right. You can put them, you can put them like that. It's not an issue at all if you want to bring these, you know, once these are connected. You know, put them higher, no problem. If that's what you want. Put Maybe put the scorpions, you know, if you wanted to mount the scorpions on this. Put them higher. Have the toadfish lower, have the toadfish spaced in between. No problem. One here, one here, one at the front if you want, or two here, one there. Whatever you like. Alright, so <clears throat> try to keep it quick and simple and basic. You've got a good idea now of, of what to do. But start with a base, you know, boosters, boosters in the middle, Bigfoot steers, Sabbath wheels, Hermit steers. Alright, this is what you're looking for. And if you if you get anywhere near this, bumpers, again, something I didn't point out. Train plows, bumpers, protecting your cabin. All right, that's why they're all here. Very important, okay, because they're going to soak up a lot of damage for you, um, for your cabin, because you need to remember the levy shooting at your cabin. All right, they've took the generator out the back here. You can put it wherever you want. It's not important, all right. You know, most normal builds you'll have <coughs> generators very important on levies. It's not important, all right. It's a little bit important, but not very important. It's four points. It's it's not a problem. You know, when you're in a fight. You've lost a toadfish up here already. That's it. You don't need it anymore. It's gone. You don't need it. You've lost one toadfish, one gun, and you don't need that anymore. You know, as soon as that's gone. So don't worry about the generator. Stick it wherever you fancy. But Doppler, very important. That should be somewhere much more important than that. Okay. All right. So cheers. I hope that is useful to some of you. Um, tell me what you think about it. If you want to see something else, let me know. And I will make it. All right. Cheers.